In the race against time, cancer has proven the scientists can only go so fast, but now AI could change that. For the first time, we're going to be able to use artificial intelligence to be able to do really millions, if not billions, of experiments all on the computer before we even do the first experiment trying to kill cancer cells. We got a look inside the Gladstone Institutes in San Francisco, where teams are working together using artificial intelligence to understand cancer cells. Dr. Deepak Srivastava, president of the Gladstone Institutes, believes this approach will save lives. We'll be able to take somebody's cancer that so far has been untreatable and be able to engineer their own immune cells in ways that would specifically kill their cancer cell. According to the American Cancer Society, skin cancer is by far the most common of all types of cancers in the U.S. Colorectal cancer is the second most common cause of cancer deaths for both men and women. These two types are the main focus for this research. The vision here is that we could use the machine learning models, use AI to figure out the patterns that it distinguish the drivers from the background. And if we could do that, then we could uh, do much more effective experiments. Before AI, scientists could only do a thousand edits to DNA in a year. And now with AI, they can do a million edits in a day. Katie Poller is the director of the Gladstone Institutes of Data Science and Biotechnology, leading this AI approach. And working fast to find ways to tackle cancer is personal to her. I'm a patient, uh, I have patients in my family, and um, we don't have time to waste. Typically, breakthroughs can take decades to make it to clinical trials. This team is aiming for a shorter timeline. My hope is that over a five-year period, we've learned enough that we can design new types of clinical trials that can actually try to address those cancers that have so far been incurable. In San Francisco, Luz Peña, APC7 News.